Nebraska, 17-year-old Teresa Scanlon. Our own Lauren Nelson was there. So what did you think when you saw all this? Oh, well, first of all, I thought Emily, when Emily was crowned, was called as fourth runner-up, I, oh, I was shocked. I, was I shocked thought she was going to make it further than that. Mm -hmm. um, but I have to say, the girl that won, Teresa Scanlon, she is a genius, and she did really well at the press conference afterwards, so I can see why she won. Okay, and you said most likely she did really well in the interview, which is not the mm -hmm. question mm -hmm. part no. that everyone sees. No, there's a private interview with just you and the seven judges and so for 10 minutes straight they just ask you questions just kind of like a firing squad almost and I think that she blew them away in interview and that's really when she kind of sealed the deal for the crown probably okay at 17 mm -hmm. you, you were Miss America when you were 20 right this is a lot of stress and a lot of pressure it's a lot of pressure I think I think she will do the job beautifully and I think she will do just be a great Miss America but I think the hard part, and this was the hard part for me, was the loneliness of the job. I mean, not being able to see your friends or family or even anybody that you've ever met before in your life for months and months on end. I mean, it was tough for me at 20 years old. I have to think that a 17-year-old, I mean, that would be really hard. Well, and people think right now, she's at home, she's celebrating, not, not true <laughs> at all. Uh, right after you and Miss America, she flew from Las Vegas to New York City. She was all on all of the morning talk shows this morning, um, and she just hits the ground running. She probably won't actually go home until about March for her official homecoming. As Miss America, you're not allowed to go home and enter your home state until your official homecoming. And so that won't be for a couple of months. Oh my goodness, and she's 17. She's 17. That's a baby. So and that's a baby. She's never even been in college yet. So. Okay, let's talk about Emily West because she really did do a she fabulous did an job. Awesome job. She made a great showing for Oklahoma. That's the best Oklahoma has done in, I mean, since 07. And so I think that. She, I mean, she has great. a lot to be proud of, and she rocked it out in swimsuit. <laughs> I know, look at that. All the former Miss Americans were like, it's really not fair that Oklahoma got to go first in swimsuit, because she is awesome. Okay, if you watch the pageant, though, you have to ask a little bit about Miss Arkansas and, and her talent. Okay, this might be a telling, a telling fact, but... In Miss America land, ventriloquism is not weird. See, I couldn't even watch it because I was so worried it was going to be awkward. Okay, we've had a former Miss America that won, and she was a ventriloquist, a ventriloquist and so uh -huh. it's just, it's not weird. It's I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know if we're just been around it too long to think that that's weird. But here's the thing that I'm surprised by. She's got such an awesome voice. If she can sing like that with her mouth closed, think about what she could do with her mouth open. And you said she competed against you when you... Well, I was Miss Teen Oklahoma and she was Miss Teen Arkansas at the same time. And we both got asked to go and sing at the Miss America pageant in 05. And she did that exact same performance. She and she, but she, she was the in the ventriloquism and she also clocked. <laughs> So she had a lot going on during that. During All that she needed talent. to do is add the batons and the fire. Oh my gosh, I don't know how she did what she did. She's, I mean, that's that's a talent. It's a talent to sound that good with your mouth closed. Uh, okay, I'll agree. I'll agree. <laughs> did you have a nice trip though? I had a great trip. We, crazy busy. Crazy busy. It was the 90th anniversary of Miss America, and so they really kept the former Miss America's busy. We'll just say that much. Okay, and not that I'm biased, but I will say Miss Lauren was the prettiest oh, former Miss you. America up there. Thank so. you. It was a lot of fun to see, and it, I got to meet some Miss Americas that I'd never met before, mm -hmm. so it was pretty awesome. Well,